and welcome to Soul in Balance. And in this video, we will be answering the big question, how to get over long COVID and how to get over COVID naturally. Now, just as some information about myself, I am studying a health science degree in Western Herbal Medicine. I'm in my final year. So, you know, it's up to you whether you want to take my information on board as there is some controversy around this topic. Now, where do we start? Long COVID can be quite frightening, quite annoying and just, you know, draining. You know, once you've already experienced COVID, you don't want it to be dragging out or then coming back again two weeks later, which a lot of people are experiencing. And, you know, I know myself, it was very, very testing. Now, I'm somebody that, you know, when I'm sick, I have a lot of ginger and garlic and I will have like 10 vitamin C and 10 echinacea a day and really just bump up my immune system. But I really felt like, you know, during this process, this wasn't really cutting it, you know, like maybe my body's very, you know, used to these type of protocols when I get sick. So I just want to go over a few things um, that are really working, that are really showing some benefits at this time, but everything is trial and error for you. Everybody is different. What works for one person doesn't work for others, but I'm just going to show you um, some herbs, some supplements that are really just working fantastic and we're seeing really, really great results. Now, First up, always, 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 we really be wanting to get um, a good vitamin C. Now, this is 5,000 milligrams vitamin C from iHerb. Now, we really do want to be having a more natural source of vitamin C. This is only just one part. Ascorbic acid is just one part of vitamin C. So if we can get like organic oranges or lemons or... Um, you know, something like that, something that's high in vitamin C, this is really, really great. There is um, the Indian gooseberries. They have a lot of vitamin C as well. And um, they're really easy to get in Indian pharmacies or, you know, the frozen food section and things like that. But, you know, things like, you know, um, vitamin C, 5,000 milligrams. This is really going to help you when you are sick. So, you know, having it morning and night and then also having zinc as well. This is also really going to help you morning and night. But just keep in mind when you have zinc, you don't want to have an empty stomach because it can cause nausea and stomach upset. Now, another super important one, you know, which I always have religiously is echinacea. Now, when I get sick, I will have five in the morning and five at night before bed. And I will also have like a clove of garlic before bed. I don't want to have it during the day because I don't want to kill everybody around me. <laughs> and I'll also have turmeric. Now, you don't have to use the root. You can use the powder. But things like turmeric tea, because we want to heat up the turmeric to activate the turmeric or have some kind of pepper in there because it doesn't have the best bioavailability. And we do, you know, when it is heated up, it does activate those healing properties and also ginger. So we can have ginger tea or we can just chop it up and swallow it like we do the garlic. But these also work. And these are protocols that I always use when I get the flu or any kind of virus. This is always, always worked for me. But um, with COVID, it was very different. So I did have to, you know, make my own tablets. So I made my own tablets. I made, um, what is in this? Turmeric, olive leaf extract, uh, oh, it was chili. And um, what was the other one? Uh, echinacea so i was having five of these a day as well like obviously you don't want to be making your own capsules you do when it comes to herbs and stuff you do want to see a practitioner if you can or speak to somebody or just you know know your body know what works for you but i do highly suggest you go see a practitioner um but then i realized after doing some research is you know really great ones for helping the body repair itself and you know as an antioxidant to get rid of those free radicals to help get rid of those bacteria is NAC and also melatonin and glutathione now these are really important during covid this helps the body um, restore itself helps the body protect itself while it's going through this 
you know, like this storm of inflammation and, you know, just this COVID attacking all the vital organs. You know, people are experiencing their brain being attacked, their heart, their, you know, their ovaries, their glands, their kidneys, everything. Um, you know, I don't want to get too much into, you know, the the te like you know the conspiracy side people say of how it's coming about how people are getting sick and and all that type of stuff um every, anyone who knows me knows where i stand on that so another um supplement that i do use is iodine now i put 10 drops of iodine in my smoothie every morning and so i did this definitely during um the the covid process and i do suggest everybody looks into um, iodine there is a lot of misinformation about iodine out there um, so i do suggest you go see a practitioner so if you're in australia they have like the lucy rose clinic or you have a look at um, a doctor a gp called dr brownstein i can leave his video in the um in the description and you know this can tell you about iodine and how it helps um heal the body because our thyroid needs iodine and you know when we don't have enough iodine we're not producing all the chemicals and the hormones to keep our body restored and protected and another great thing about iodine is that it kills bacteria it kills viruses so you know look into iodine i don't want to tell you to just start dosing yourself with iodine there is a lot of controversy around iodine so please 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 do the research before you get into iodine but what i want to say throughout all these procedures is that yes it worked it kept everything at bay it helped me you know get along and, and especially other people it helped other people um you know get over it but as soon as your emotions came down, as soon as you started feeling sad or, you know, stressed or, you know, just even run down or anything like that, the symptoms will come back. And this is what was really, you know, this is what was really strange about COVID is that, you know, it, it, some kind of way it really does compromise your immune system in a longer, in a longer way. And this is why we're seeing that long COVID. And, um, this is when I started to really get into um, Indian herbs, so Ayurvedic herbs. Now, what I used, and this is what really just knocked it off, like knocked the head off so it didn't come back, is um, these three herbs here. Now, what I have here is neem. Now, in um, we use neem as like to kill bacteria, to kill parasites. So neem oil was really great. So in India, they use neem oil for, you know, um, skin funguses and viruses and, and things like that. So neem tablets, absolutely fantastic. Um, I don't know if you can see the brand. Um, that's what I used. And I also use Guduchi. And this is also like an immune booster. And I also used um, Tulsi, which is also for respiratory wellness. And I can tell you that I would have two of each. And within like an hour, all those symptoms that I could feel coming up again would be gone. And, you know, I wish I had you know, implemented these Indian herbs earlier because they actually were in my medicine cabinet. But, you know, all in all, those Western herbs that I said initially do work. They do really help restore the body. They do bring the body back to balance and help bring you back to wellness. But I feel like with this virus, it really does compromise the immune system in, you know, a very different way, you know. And this is why a lot of people are saying that this is, what is it called? Um you know, like a bioweapon. People are saying it's a bioweapon. But, you know, who knows what to believe. Um, all I can say is um, there are protocols that can help you. So, you know, get into the natural side. Now, another thing that I've just made a video on is not having your sense of taste and smell. Now, um, what I used was salt and claudial silver now the reason why people are um, losing their sense of smell and taste is because 
though that bacteria and that mucus is storing in the nasal cavities and the nasal chambers which is then affecting the olfactory nerve so what we need to do is, is get rid of that bacteria and get rid of that inflammation so you know nothing survives on salt so what i did i just went and got some nasal sprays tip the the solution out and then just put in something natural so i just got um yeah himalayan salt um put it with some some hot water let it cool down and then just put it in here and also um i use colloidal silver which is also really great for boosting your immune system again nothing can survive um, no bacteria nothing can survive in silver so you know both of these are really great a lot of people might not like colloidal silver there it is a bit of controversy around there so you can just stick to the simple salt and using this three times a day morning lunch and night and just sitting back and letting it you know drip into those chambers and you'll find you know even within straight after using it you'll have like a tiny sense of smell and taste back and within two weeks you'll have you know everything back um but yes, I know how frustrating it is um, with the long COVID and just having COVID and, you know, the severity of it, it it's quite overwhelming. Um, but I do feel like there's, you know, a lot of people have these like emotional awakenings or, you know, things come up because they're, they're bedridden and they're in so much pain and it's like they're forced to finally deal with some kind of emotional issue and you know it's like your body will wherever the COVID's affecting you is where that you know where you need to be healing in that area you know so for me personally I felt like my heart was very attacked like I was just being stabbed with a thousand knives you know and then I realized that you know, I was breaking my own heart in a lot of situations in my life, you know, like doing whatever I could do just to feel loved and and then not realizing. And then when I was like having to just lie in bed and not be able to move and then go through all these things that I was doing, you know, it, it really gave me this awakening. And then that physical pain from the COVID really just made me see what I was doing to my body. Now, I don't know if everybody's going to resonate with my story. That's just my personal story. But I've had a lot of people um, tell me about their emotional awakenings or, you know, just understanding of their processes, of their cycles, of their patterns or their crutches and what they do. And, you know, going through COVID's really kind of release them from that crutch release them from that cycle because they finally had time to stop and reflect on their life so you know everybody's situations are different um but yeah anyway um just some other things and other tips that i that was really helpful was um um going to see a chinese therapist now when i was quite sick and i felt like um the virus was attacking my kidneys and I um, had some leftover Chinese herbs from a practitioner. So I'll show you, like, with Chinese herbs, there's quite a few, like, herbs in there. And I had this batch sitting in my cupboard, like, my medicine cupboard, um, since 2016. <laughs> and I, you know, put it in the, the Chinese pot and I boiled it up and I drank it for two days. And if I didn't, like, that is literally what helped me get out of bed. You know, because our kidneys are our energy center. And if our, if our kidneys are depleted or being attacked or inflamed or something like that, you know, we have no energy. We can't get up. We can't function. So I had that tea and literally I was able to move. And I called that practitioner. I was just like, hey, I've had these herbs since 2016. And I had them and without them, I wouldn't have been able to function. So definitely like go see a Chinese practitioner, tr traditional Chinese practitioner get some herbs um, to help you with your immune system, with your energy, um, your heart, wherever you're being affected. I also got some herbs after that um, for heart because some people are getting like myocarditis, um, pericarditis, stuff like that. Um, yeah, so that for what's great for that is um, what we're seeing in like the natural therapy field is your yeah, acupuncture and um, yeah, Chinese herbs and yeah, also again, the glutathione and NAC um but yeah I feel like I'm going too much off track here but um there are many many herbs and things like that that are, are doing wonders and if you know people that are affected heart wise another great one is um infrared light so you just get yourself like a 40 dollar infrared light 
not the, the new ones with all the little tiny globes, just an old fashioned Philips one and just put it on your heart. And it really does, um, you know, help with healing your heart, getting rid of the inflammation and stuff like that. And this can also be used for people that have um, had their thing. Sorry, I don't want to mention it on here because it is quite controversial with the um, algorithms on YouTube. Um, but yeah, so I just want to say, you know, all these herbs are really great absolutely fantastic wouldn't have been able to get through anything without them but i just want to highlight more than anything that if you are um experiencing long covid is to get these three indian herbs and see if they work for you they're so cheap like they're literally three dollars 99 they're not $50 a bottle or $20 a bottle, they're $3.99. And this is stuff that you can get online as well. So I'll quickly go over them again. So we have neem, we have guduchi, and we also have tulsi. Now, um, yeah, so I had two, three times a day. And since then, I haven't had like literally anything. And even if I do get a little bit of a niggling in my throat or anything like that, I will go and have these straight away and it just knocks it straight out. Um, but yes, that's it, guys. I hope that was helpful. I know this video might be all over the place. I do try and keep things structured, but there is just so many things that I tried, so many things that I watched other people try. And, you know, I'm just trying to just give you all the information I can so you you can come up with your own structure because everybody's body is different everybody's body handles things differently so everybody needs to find a protocol that works for them so maybe if anybody wants um, a video on more specific things on how to fix specific things i can do that um, or if anybody would like any kind of help or anything please message me in the comments my next video will be about how to fix the hair loss problem after covid so stay tuned for that so thank you guys i'll see you soon bye